Wow. Much better. Wow. I am... Wait. What's that? Oh, there's still some rust in there. Oh my gosh. Oh well. It is much better. So, it's the next morning. Is this gonna work? Oh gosh. Here we go. side so I'm gonna do that probably need to buy more it'd be nice to fill the whole tank but it'd be a lot of money but it's cleaned well it just works really slowly once this is done then I can run only ethanol free gas through it and then that should alleviate all the problems that I've been having with this and once I get that working, I'll get the fork seals done, get it uh, registered, insured, and then I'll put the big bore kit. I left it sitting all day yesterday. Uh, there's rest there that I can't really reach. But that was all that was on the side there. And then I changed the lights in this. That's some scary wind. Wookie! Wookie! Yay! I can't reach some areas of the tank with the evapo rust, so I might have to <laughs> buy more actually. It's crazy, it's just a strange tank design. This has nothing to do with motorcycles, but my friend's 19th birthday is tomorrow, so I'm getting him a car. Kind of. Did I? Cleaned up the wiring. Mostly. I hope that'll fit. Tool tray will fit now. And it's not really like a mess anymore. I mean, it's not very nice, but it's better than it was. And uh, what else did I do? Just nice until you see like right there, that part right there, not very nice. But most of that. It's good. And I haven't been able to do that much this week. Stupid midterm exams for college. Ah! Uh, there's some few specs there. I don't know what that's from. It was like. If those, the, the evaporus can't get up high enough to clean that. And there are still some like weird streaks. Very stupid. To get this tool tray to fit, you gotta oh my gosh. run, pull most of the harness up here. Um, I had to put down like that. And then like just, I guess loop these wires around back here. I mean, they're not gonna, I shouldn't break. I put tape around it right there. So that, cause that's a body ground. I mean, there's paint on it, but you know, be safe. Just, just wow. You know, maybe you just carry tools. Your backpack or whatever you take while you pack. Just the breather thing that I bought it doesn't work. I've seen the Kawasaki S1. And I don't really know exactly how they work, but it takes the... There's a hose that goes over this, and it comes up through here, and goes back down somewhere. But it looks like it connects to the same box as, like, something that comes off the fuel tank or something. I don't know. Good idea to run dual spark plugs. <laughs> I might, I'm probably gonna. I gotta replace the fork seal, so I might get emulator valve pieces that go into the forks. That's supposed to help them work well. And I will probably do something with the air shocks too. So I took a vacation to Mexico and. I got a cold or something the day before I got back, so that's why I don't talk about it. I figured out.
somehow while I was on vacation is that the main harness is not supposed to go through like that around the tank. It's supposed to come out through above the horn, which I somehow bent the bracket for, but I moved that through, you know, come up through here, like so. And I think that this other harness here for the these switches come out the same way. Not the check. I got the wire on correctly. Uh, yeah, it goes in. That's why there's a groove in that. And uh, everything's hooked up correctly. Uh, so I can uh, just close this back up again. Uh, put back in the lamp. Now I take out the spark plugs so that I can. I mean, I know that four and one are fouled. Not, fouled. Not exactly fouled, but there's a lot of carbon on it. Okay, that might have just broke it. Hope not. Oh, did I break it? No. I don't think. That was kind of dumb. But, as you can see, there's some carbon in there. Got more evapo rust. Because of that area's spots of rust that were on it. So now we will pour that in. So I'm uh, back. I uh, closed garage door. I bought my spark plugs and I got the some did I? Yeah, yeah, I got some screws. Bolts for the clutch cover. Could not find the bolt for the disc brakes at either Auto Zone, Lowe's, or Home Depot, which is pretty weird. Probably have to buy it online, specialty parts. Plugs so. come out. Excellent. The box is cool because they're black. I mean, those parts. I'm sure it's just a reflection or something. Just put the air box on, and it's probable and likely that I have forgotten a critical component between that. But I don't recall at the moment, so should be good. We're pouring now, draining it, and then I'm gonna. I don't know. Maybe I, I guess. Hey. Maybe I should rinse the tank or something. I don't know. Alcohol. Oh, I'll put motor oil in it or some kind of oil. That will be good. I'm so pleased with the results I got from using Evapo Rust. There is like basically no rust inside this tank anymore. Any rust that's on it is like not even surface rust. It's more just like just oxidation on the surface, some brown stuff which doesn't really soak into the fuel like particles do, which causes the problems. But I'm very satisfied with this, and I hurry up with this because the fumes and vapors are not nice. Taking off the sprocket cover, because I'm gonna re-grease the clutch release mechanism, because I used white lithium grease before, and I'm gonna use Belt Ray waterproof grease this time, just because that's a better grease. Anti-seize will go on the push rod because it was kind of stuck in there because of the grease that I had in it. The blue for a green, I don't know what that is, bell right into there. That is a lot nicer kind of grease than white lithium grease I had. And I had anti-seize on that push rod. And there actually is some play on this shift shaft, which I haven't read about that. What? If it's supposed to do that but there is some oil that's been leaking around around here so I'm gonna blame uh, main like a pr primary drive seal or maybe external shift mechanism I don't Very know correct rain dance wax it smells like fish tacos it's the strangest thing I did something right because it's working except the clutch I'll fix that and now we Looking for boiling fuel. No. That's good. There's not. Oh, what the? It's more corrosion. 
Uh oh. So I cleaned up some of this wiring. There is some. You can't really even see it. All the way down in there. But all of this wiring is, you know, hidden, tied back so that it's not in the way if there's any leaks from the air box. So yeah, it's running pretty good. Probably better than it ever has. And I just want to, you know, a few more days of riding it to just make sure everything's sorted out and nothing else comes back up as happened in the past. It likes to come up with something random once everything else is already working fine. Now these forks with this plastic I cut, you know, the fork seals, and they're actually hold, seem like they're holding air now, which is crazy. So I still have these brand new seals. So that leaves me, you know, to decide, you know, should I rebuild these, get the new springs, new emulator valves, all that, new bushes, but keep this old little brake hardware, or do I just swap an entire front end off of a, like a ZX9 or a ZX7 or something with much bigger brakes? I don't know. I don't know where to find that though, other than that junkyard I tried to get the carbs from. Unfortunately, the left fork has a pinhole leak kind of thing. I look at the seal, I see a little bit of bubbling coming out because I put oil around it. So I guess it's got to go get a new one in it anyways.